every single day. If if what you're saying is actually true, and you were actually with Kobe when some shit was going down, and he knew that you were there, then when when me, if I'm the one that's in trouble, and I'm going to court, I'm expecting my mans to show up to be like, nah, he was with me. There was no way we were here. This this is our witnesses. If you, my mans, and I'm that type of person where I have all this money and all this influence, and you need me to come and speak on your behalf because we are tight like that. All right, I'm going to come and speak. I'm going to come. I'm going to show the fuck up for my mans. Yo, yep. yo, hell no. He was right that shit. He was with me. Uh, let me, let me, let I'm going to get you up out of that situation and not let I you sit you. for five years. Kev, repeat what you just said. Well, with this rap battle shit? Yeah. Oh, man. This 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 shit, first of all, this shit with, with Drake and Kendrick is shit that we've never seen before when it comes to rap battles, especially within two giants of the rap industry. So when Drake comes this time, He's going to have to come with a very, very calculated move. He's going to have to come from all angles. There's going to have to be some real TKO punches thrown. And he's going to have to jump in that bag that, regardless if you're a Drake fan or not, Drake can rap. You know what I mean? No Correct. matter if you say he... he Why are you crunching your face up? Other uh, people he, can rap, shit. he can rap other people's lyrics, yeah. Right about that. I Something mean, you can't. Hey, everybody he, in the rap already game know he can write people other other people's lyrics. I mean, he, they even just... look some shit that Kendrick has said. You know what oh, I mean? Like that shit is just at this point, it's a part of the game. You feel me? So, but but Drake can Drake can actually rap. You know what I mean? And Kendrick can actually rap. Kendrick, can I want to see these motherfuckers go. I want to see Drake go in his bag. So- he has to pull out something that he's really got to go in there and think about and do something that he has. So this last yet. one, this last one, the the the, the, the dropping give me fifty and all that. Drake, listen, and Drake wrote it. He can't rap. He can't rap. Like my man, like my man. Hater, and Kevin, the words and the words can't be biased about it. And Kevin the words of my nigga, the immortal Rick James. I get them two titties. Them titties, two thumbs down. Them shits are trash. I, definitely I, definitely I, not I, trash. Listen, I just let me. Can I finish my fucking point for y'all? Who oh, you just take drinking? You know? uh, listen, I ain't even talking about that shit. Like I'm listening to this shit. I'm like this last battle. It was just all over the place. You battling six niggas at one time. The one niggas taking shots at you. I think you fucking like went at Pharrell and like you just going all over the place with this shit. And I'm trying to. Focus in on this shit. Like, yo, what is this nigga talking about? And it's, it wasn't no real punchline. It wasn't no shit that made you think. It wasn't no shit that sit you like, oh, like that was fucking. Oh, it's like, all right, cool. You got a, you got a great hook, a great beat. Oh, which, which feel like some. This feel. This is Drake's second one. It felt like something you can dance to. You talking about? Like, n- name the yeah. disc. Name the disc. Uh, not drop and give fifty. The second one was it the wasn't other one. It was um family was matters, funny. family matters, family matters. No, that yeah. was Kendrick. Wait, family matters, yeah. Family, family matters felt like you can felt like you can dance to it. Felt like a club shit. He on there harmonizing and then singing and all types of shit. He was it's like, yo, okay, you dropped the drop and give me 50. This nigga came back, and I think he he came back with some shit. Now it's like, yo, you did the drop and give me 50. You did me the ha ha he he the laughter shit. You now you're trying to take it personal, I guess, on family matter. Yeah. Get personal on family matters. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that shit, his wife cheating on him. He said, "Yeah, it was. It was like, oh man, you, you know, you saying that that doesn't. kid isn't his kid. It's by the bodyguard. That's yeah. some shit. Yeah, that's not yeah. a. That's not, not only a, that, like, but you can't compare spitting. Drake rapping. I mean, first of all, Drake sings. That's what he be doing." 
I mean, he even told he even in his, in a previous battle, he even told a nigga, "You getting body by a singing nigga." You know what I'm saying? Like, and not only that, but you you comparing that that singing shit is just like going back to Kendrick shit and listening to his shit at the beginning. It sounded like poetry. I was going I was going to comment on that part because you know what I mean. That nigga had a little had a little poetry session at the beginning of a of a song, and then decided to get into it. These niggas are using certain gimmicks to attract different ears. And I'm gonna tell you. When it comes to Kendrick, norm a normal person with that beat selection, I would I would say I would be so infuriated. Yeah. At that beat selection. Cause it's like, bro, but I get it. Grams. It's hot. It's all of it. Every single one for a battle. But the way Kendrick does it, see, that's why I like Kendrick, because the way he does it, it's still, it's still like a it's still stinging. You know what I'm saying? Because he and then he raps it like in this artistic way. So a lot of people would give him was giving him shit about not responding at first for that certain amount of time. But it's like, nah, I believe he did all those records at that time, and he was and he strategically playing them out. So when I drop this, if this nigga drops something else, boom, I drop that. And if that nigga drops something else, boom, I drop that shit right after. I'm gonna take all the steam away from anything he. This is strategic. So yeah. even him using those specific beats and those specific things, like I heard. Drake's uncle played the fucking flute or some dumb shit on one of the songs and he used it. This is like cerebral shit. That's where I give Kendrick the credit at on hey, top of the bars that you have to study to figure out what he's saying. You even, know what I'm saying? Even Drake ain't gonna slouch. Yeah, they was breaking down 616. I'm like, yo, this shit had so many meanings when they was breaking this shit down. I was like, oh my gosh. Did, even he took time out to make the title of the song have meaning to the fucking battle. Not on yeah. top of that, the, the yeah. list. That, dropping VM50 was, yeah, that had meaning too, and it was crazy. But it's like, yo, Drake, he, he came at you with a three-piece. And I mean, he fucking, the latest one, Um, they not like us. The cover art is him talking about everybody's pedophilers in his group. And the picture of Drake House with the red dots over top of the house, that means that's what pedophiles sex offenders live. live. Yeah, sex so it was like, register sex offender. I'm like, yeah. That man, shit's crazy. Just, that yeah. shit was crazy. Please just leave it. Just leave that nigga alone. Just, no, I want him to keep conceive. going at him. He's not going to conceive. He just, he, if he trolls more than he puts into his rap battle, then I'm like, yo, you lost. Because you're putting too, many, too much energy and trying to get niggas a bite on the internet instead of trying to get niggas a bite on coming back at this nigga with bars. That's why I'm really saying Drake is losing because it's like you're spending too much energy trolling this nigga on the internet. Put some of that troll energy into your bars and give it to this nigga. So that's all I got to say on this shit. Like, I, no, I don't like, got, I got more to say. Go ahead. I don't, you, got it. you got the floor. <laughs> you got the floor. No, I think, I think, I think when it comes to, um, when it comes to these two, bro, I think we're going to see some shit that were that was never done. Because where else can we go from from them talk about each other's families? Because that's that's what that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Talking about each other's family, you know what I'm saying? That's what got niggas to go. Drake has to respond to this last record. If he does not respond to this last record, he absolutely lost. There is no. Oh man, they, we didn't want to get dirty with the hogs and and oh, I was gonna punch him in the face if I see him. It ain't none of that. You can't none of it. I don't want to hear this nigga mentioned nowhere near the top three. But if he comes back and he comes back with some hot shit, and he comes back with some hot shit, you can't deny that shit neither. The nigga can rap. Talk, take take all the oh, somebody wrote that song. 10 years ago and this song and that song somebody wrote some of those hits if the nigga is writing let's assume he's writing what he's writing right now the nigga can rap like you can't just say he can't rap that's bullshit yeah I guess Kevin's such a I, fucking hater yeah I, I you're, you're, you're ain't realistic with your shit <laughs> I, I'm not re I'm real I'm very realistic with this shit like how I, like yo how it's cool it's like, yo, you can't tell, like, right now, for him to battle, he's battling this nigga, Kendrick. I, I shouldn't be second guessing if he wrote it or another nigga wrote it. That's not the same. That's not at all. Let's assume he wrote it. Now go. 
Okay, assume that he never had a goose fright in his life. You he can't be. You can't get past your body. I'm just taking that all out the yeah, equ- equation. If he rolled it, then it's hot. But it's like I just can't. That's all I need to know. Move on to the next. If I, I like, like that's just like when fucking Easy E got hit with no Vaseline. It's like, yo, who's gonna write your comeback for no Vaseline? Yeah, that's, but Easy acknowledged correct, the fact that everybody wrote his shit. Though. Yeah, I know he acknowledged. You know what I mean? Drake never it, really. Easy never... was never really a rapper. He was a businessman. He jumped well, you had into to the rap game. You, you had to I mean? find out Drake shit was written by somebody else. We have to. So, have to. okay, so that's what pisses. That's why I don't have faith. If Drake would have said he has writers for him, it's like, all right, cool. You that automatically disqualifies you from ever battling somebody because. Well, you have writers for yourself. What about you don't... Ab? What about Ab Lava writing anything for Pusha T as it was already stated? Now what? Now Pusha T shit wasn't hot because he's had a he's had help. It kind of disqual- it disqualifies him too. But guess what happened in his battle with Drake that Pusha T won? You you had to have your manager say the shit was too ugly, so you fucking lost. Once you had another man speak on your behalf, you fucking. What Yo, the top say? The Drake, top Drake about won. Drake won. Then I, I, I'm on that. Drake won that battle because no, he Jay definitely Prince, didn't win. Jay Prince said, you know, his response was too fucking gruesome that it couldn't be released. I'm giving, yeah, no, it's bullshit. I'm giving you a for instance. I'm saying, what if Top Dog comes out and say, nah, nah, Kendrick ain't getting involved. He might hurt him. Do Drake win? Yep, because you, you don't okay. let a nigga speak. For, don't let a nigga speak for you, dog. Let the <laughs> let the bars let the bar speak for you. You know what I'm saying? Let the don't let another nigga speak for you. So, but fuck all that. We getting off that title. Let's get into our real shit. What we talking about today? So, you want to break the shit down, or you want you know what I mean how it goes, Dre? And then we get into um, the shit. Sure, sure. Uh, so there was a um, interview. I'm not sure how long ago it was done. I found it on TikTok, and uh, I shared it with my guys here, and they had a ball debating it all morning via text so my phone kept going doo, doo, doo. i'm like all right nigga. <laughs> but it was interesting you to yourself and i wanted no i wanted to know what y'all thought like i want no, to break know break, break down the whole synopsis and then we won't get into it yeah so what it was was kobe kobe bryant back in the day had a friend i guess he went to high school with him and even in the nba they were close right what the guy describes is close and what happened is the guy got hit for a robbery while he was quote unquote with Kobe, um, and come to find out, Kev, you got a little bit more information on this because uh, you went and and looked I up the me. article. But how, yeah, but how the dude brought it? How the dude described in the interview him and turn Kobe, it down, yo. How he made it sound was like he did a robbery with Kobe because that's what that's how when you, we first initially saw it, it sounded like him and Kobe was involved in something, and he wound up doing time for Kobe, and when he got out of prison. He asked Kobe to help him out, get a job, or put him back on. And Kobe gave him a number to an assistant that he couldn't get in reach of. Get in reach. We're going to describe the story in more con- detail. Yeah. Couldn't get in contact with Kobe about getting a job and putting him back on. And he felt as though Kobe was a piece of shit. Later on in the interview, the guy also stated that, hey, Kobe, you know, he doesn't do anything for his family, his father, his mother, mother and father, his sister still works a regular job and everything like that. So the dude was basically just piled on a Kobe. Even the title of the shit, it said uh, it was some weird shit. Like I got arrested and Kobe wasn't there to back me. Like the guy went to jail. It was for clicks. And, yeah, it was for clicks. He even said in his interview that I went to, when I went to trial, Kobe never showed up to the trial. Tr- he could have helped me. You know, possibly get out of my situation. So I said, "All right, let me do some fucking research on this shit." Because niggas were just going at Kobe. Come to find out, this guy was a rapper with Kobe. A Seven Eleven got robbed, and do I didn't. You know, somebody said this is the guy who did it. The guy Kevin, I think his name is Kevin. Son, whatever sauce, Sanchez. whatever Sanchez, Sanchez was like, "Yo, I was doing the." Sh- show a rap show with kobe at the time this is i was broken down i was doing a rap show with kobe at the time so i couldn't do the robbery at the same time kobe paved the bell this dude out of jail kobe paid at the time I guess he was in it's 96 so kobe was in the nba kobe paid 
for the other band members to go there and testify on this dude's behalf. But the court system still said, even though you four or five guys say he wasn't there, we're going to say he is there, and you're going to do X amount of time in jail. Okay. So I'm like, looking at this shit, so I'm like, so, but in your interview, you made it out like Kobe is the reason you went to fucking jail, but... He did not at all. No. He He fucking helped. He, not only did he bail you out of jail, but he made sure the dudes that was taking part in your trial was also being able to testify so, on your behalf there. Let's let's, let's jump. Let me jump in here. So here here's where here's what I got from it because that's what you got from it, and I'm 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 respect that. What I got from it is the guy wasn't mad about that. He said I went to jail, I did my time, whatever. Like that's what he said. I went to jail, I did my time, I'm home. He was his issue was with the way Kobe handled him. Once he saw him and he knew he needed help and he expressed how much help he needed at the time. He said, I got two daughters. I'm out here doing what I got to do, even if it's street shit. Yeah, you can get a job, but street shit money come faster and I need the money fast. And guess what? They're not hiring felons directly out of here. Also, what skills do I have? I didn't go to college. I was in jail. I don't have the skills to go get it. So I'm trying to get the fast money because I'm trying to get myself together. I'm assuming. I go to Kobe and say, bro, listen, I don't want you to give me nothing as far as money goes, but can you just set me up with a job? I'll work your security. I'll do whatever you say to do so I can feed my family the way I should be able to. Just please just help me out in that way. You could give me to somebody else. I'll do the work and make everything happen. Just get, okay. just, just put me in, hold on, just put me in the, whatchamacallit. That's when Kobe said, yo, I got you, gave him a number, but the guy didn't realize by the time he got back to the crib and called it, it was a number to his assistant, and then he could never get in contact with Kobe after that. So that's the issue he had with Kobe. Then he went on to saying the fact that Kobe doesn't, like, when when niggas were saying, like, this is just how he is, that's when he was saying, yeah, he don't help his sisters. He don't financially, like, you know what I'm saying? He don't do nothing for nobody, really. That's just how this nigga is. It's what he said. Well, here's here's another thing that nobody put into context in the story. The nigga, the nigga said he was doing street shit. He made that clear. Then he asked Kobe, can you fly? He said, I just want him to fly me out to L.A., help me get a job out there. You can put me on your security team and I'll keep and you know and I'll make my own way. Yeah. What I what I fucking hear is okay, I fly you out here. I'll help you get a job. Now say I, it ain't on my security team. Say it has nothing to do with me. But I get you a job out here to help you fucking do right. That job's not paying what you want. But now you're in LA, so you got access to me. So what you're gonna keep doing? You're gonna keep hitting me up every time your situation falls through. You can't. You tell me where you're the city you at right now. You can't get a job in. Why do I got? Who's paying for you once I fly you out there to get your place? Who's paying for the plane tickets? Who's paying for the place you're going to stay at? Who's paying for the first couple of months? Because once you move to a whole nother place and you ain't got a job, it takes a while to get established. Who's taking care of all that financial responsibility? You talk, I'm supposed to do it. You know, so I'm supposed to keep feeding you until you get on. And if that falls, or when I'm supposed to keep feeding you again, how about you try to set something up where you're staying at? You got a place. Or I recommend you to somewhere like, hey, I know some people I can talk to at the at the TV station down here that can get you doing security. You know, I just do an interview for him, and I put you on to do security here. Is that beneath you? Or I show up at the—I don't give a fuck. I show up at a fucking McDonald's and say, "Hey, get, can you help my man get a job?" Like, why do I got to fly you all the way to fucking L.A. to help you get a job? It basically, that that's what the opportunity dude, well, became a fucking. That's what opportunity. No, it basically, that dude would have became a fucking leech. Ain't no opportunities in L.A. Let's let's. That's well, let me oh, pause that for a second. Let me pause that for a second. Let me okay. pause that for a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna some some specific words that you use is that you would show up. 
you would come here to do this. So it's not like you're not attempting to do something. Whether you you just don't want to pay for the nigga's life, and that's understandable. You know what I mean? Like you not you shouldn't be responsible for another man, regardless of how much money a person may think you have. You shouldn't have to be responsible for another man's finances. But you also said that how about I come out there and help you set help set you up with a job somewhere, which means that you know that you being the person that you are holds a lot of weight and, and moves a lot of water. You can go somewhere and, may, and get shit done for a person. This nigga is saying that that wasn't even a, a, an opportunity given. You know what I mean? I'm sure if Kobe had said something like, I'm not going to fly you out to L.A. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let, I'm not going to give you my number. I'll give you my assistant's number. I'm going to let my assistant know I need him to do this, this, that, and third. And if I got to come out there to set it up for you, then I'll come out there to set it up for you. He would probably be all right with that because he know he got some help coming. But but what he's feeling is what he's saying is he's feeling the brush off like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I got you. Take that. Take that. We're going to link up later. Disappear. Boom. And it's it's not like you can just go and talk to Kobe because you've known him all your life. He gave you a number to somebody who will continuously just uh, I'm just a person. I'm just a defense for anybody who who tries to get in contact with Kobe to say they know him and. He gives them this number so I could deflect them so he ain't got to worry about them. You're not meeting up with Kobe again. You know what I mean? Unless unless it's the luck of the timing. Unless it's God's will that y'all intervene long, within each other. How long was he locked up? I forgot. Five years. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't know you no more after that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If you we don't know each my other. best friend since we were kids. <laughs> we we don't were know each kids. Other. You know what I'm saying? We grew up all through high school. You know what I mean? He said they became friends like 13, 14 years old. You know what I mean? They were best friends. They did everything together every single day. If if what you're saying is actually true and you were actually with Kobe when some shit was going down and he knew that you were there, then when, when me, if I'm the one that's in trouble and I'm going to court, I'm expecting my mans to show up to be like, nah, he was with me. There was no way we were here. This this is our witnesses. If you, my mans, and I'm that type of person where I have all this money and all this influence, and you need me to come and speak on your behalf because we are tight like that. All right, I'm going to come and speak. I'm going to come. I'm going to show the fuck up for my mans. Yo, yeah. yo, hell no. He was right that shit. He was with me. Uh, let me, let me, let I'm going to get you up out of that situation and not let I you sit you. for five years. I'm going to write a letter. I got something to say on that. Because I, I, after this, he did the interview, I, like I said, I did some digging. He said he didn't need Kobe there. He said it himself in another interview. I didn't think I need Kobe because it, a, a uh, it was a mistaken identity case. I didn't think I needed Kobe. The people that he sent, I thought were good enough. This is his words. Because it was a mistaken identity. Somebody else did the robbery. You were going to go to jail regardless of the fact. I don't give a fuck if Kobe showed up. They just wanted you for some odd reason. Maybe you was doing some shit in the street. See, that's what that's a lot of shit people don't put in context. Yeah, maybe Kobe was fucking with you in Philly, but no, you was always in the street doing street shit. You don't fucking... I know myself. I ain't no fucking street dude. But if I got locked up for a mistaken identity, I'm not coming home to get in the street shit. I'm coming home to look for a job because that's what I've done all my life. That's what I know. All I know is how to work. I don't know anything about selling drugs or being in the fucking street. This nigga coming back home and going automatically in the street shit mean he was a street dude. I'm Kobe Bryant. I can't align myself with you. I did everything I could by making sure you got bailed out of jail when you were sitting in jail. Made sure that, you know, I hooked you up with a lawyer and hooked you up with the other fucking band members to get you out of jail. The court system had it out for you and they got you. After five years, I really don't owe you shit because it's a lot of people that I grew up with that I knew that I'm cool with since I was little. That I know they say, oh, let me get a job. I'm like, bro, you can go apply for application because I know you don't work. I know you ain't going to work. I know you ain't going to show up. You just gonna fucking use my name to attach it to something and ruin my reputation when I can really help somebody else that I fucking really know get the fuck on and and get a good opportunity. I can't use that for them because I use your shit up. I, I had this shit just recently happen to me 
where I'm speaking on people's behalf, where I think they're good people. And now you ruin it for motherfuckers who are actually good because you turned around to be it became a shitty fucking person. And as far as him getting put on, like we I was saying over the text, like I don't think I don't understand why people think because I'm rich, I'm supposed to give you money. I, I made this analogy. If I had a hundred dollars and a hundred friends, and each one of my friends knew I had a hundred dollars and came and asked me for one fucking dollar, what doesn't seem like nothing. A hundred people came asked me for a hundred dollars, and I gave them all a fucking hundred dollars, a dollar out of my hundred dollars. What the fuck do I have to get in my family? No, I I I agree with that with that analogy. It's it's a good it's a good analogy for that particular way of thinking. Like if I give something to everybody who asked, then I would have nothing. I I understand that. Get what I'm saying? Like I I, I do say this no, though. If nobody that's made man, Kobe. Kobe made himself. Absolutely. If 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 that, if I got if I got a homie, like I'm putting myself in this position. Because we all know these people. We all know these people who, like, even if they're not street niggas, maybe they just fuck ups. And you know, if I give this nigga the opportunity, he'll probably he's probably gonna fuck it up. But that don't mean that, and I don't owe nobody nothing. You don't gotta feel like you owe nobody nothing, but that don't mean that you don't at least try something. I can at least put my put put somebody on my team on it. Like, listen, he can't be in my entourage, he can't be whatever. But that business I'm opening over there, or that that thing that this guy's doing, or that thing that, hey, see if see if they see if they need somebody over there. Let me at least put somebody on it, to where we can see what we could do for this guy. Cause that's my man from five years ago. He went to jail. You know what I'm saying? Kids probably call me Unc. Some some shit like that. Let me just see what I can do for him. That's all I say is like I would try to at least do something, even if it because I don't want. Hey, if I if I'm the man with the millions. I'm the golden goose. We can't fuck my shit up. We can't because if my shit get fucked up, everybody fucked up. Nobody got nothing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're not going to put them with something that directly aligns with me, but that don't mean I can't do nothing for this guy with my influence. Actually, because what makes you think he didn't try to do that? And that guy just said, I have no no idea what makes you think he did. Just by the way, the conversation, by the way, the the way the conversation with how the dude was saying, like, yo, slime me out. Fly me out. How he said it. Fly me out to L.A. and I'm going to work for any. I'm going to work for my opportunity. I just I'm going to work for my opportunity. I'm going to do my own. But I need you to put me on with you or somebody, you know, or your security team. It's like, yo. Why the fuck are you not doing that where you at right now? You know, your situation fucked up. Why are you not trying to align yourself? And maybe what do you think he back? Maybe at that point you, in time, maybe if you do, I'm just saying anything. If you was over, if you went to jail and you was rapping and and whatever, or you was doing in the studios, and you came home five years later, you get some money. You say, "Yo, Cole, listen, I got this group. They're good. You know, I fucked my career up. I'm working with these guys now. I got my own situation going. Hey, do you know some names or some directions or some people you can put me in contact with?" That can possibly look at this group is I look at that situation like, all right, okay. you're actually doing something on your own. You already got a movement started. Yo, here, I'm gonna call such and such. Yo, I just set you an interview up to go. Wouldn't that be the same as putting out. your name on the line no matter what? No, because no, no. I, here's a here's a here's a two difference. Here's the difference of the day. One, he was like, this is my scenario. He came home. Got the money up, funded a new rap group, and they're moving. He needs Kobe to give him a helping hand to get the rap group that's, on. That's interesting. That, listen, that's what I, I that's saying. my first scenario. How he explained the shit is like, I'm just in the streets doing whatever I gotta do. I want to abandon the street shit, but I want you to take me and my whole family out here. <laughs> you add shit, you add shit, bro, to get to your point. You add yeah. no, did he not say he was doing street shit? What do I got to do with him saying. And okay. You're saying he, move oh, me and my family did, did, out. Answer my question, yes or no. Did he not say he was doing street shit? He was in the streets, he said. Okay. He, did he not ask Kobe to move him out to L.A.? Him, yes. Him. Oh, Could you don't he, think his family not coming? Okay. Maybe, All right, maybe so his family not coming. He's leaving his family home. Move yes. me out to L.A. Yeah. I'm doing All I'm doing is fucking around in the streets, but I or want something. you to move... That's what he said. If he moves him out there, what he, what will happen? He said, "I'm fucking around in the streets. Move me out. Get me out of the street shit. Bring me out to LA. 
go get me a job with somebody, go talk to somebody, get me a job, or put me on your security team. What fucking qualifications do you have for me to bring you out to L.A. from you doing street shit? You've been locked up for five years. Somebody brings you an office, so since you've been home, what have you been doing? Street shit. Trying oh to yeah, get my life let's let's yeah, let's hire him because is. let's hire him because he got he got Kobe name. You've been doing street shit. So security team, no security team, put him on. What's your qualification since you've been home with Jeff? What you been doing with yourself? What did he say he was doing since he been home? In the streets. Okay. See how my di- scenarios is two different things. When my scenario is he came home from jail and started something. Your scenario, started building your scenario something. is magic. Yeah, it's not it magic. It doesn't happen with. Oh, with, you can't come. Least, okay, no, no. Listen, bad. listen, I listen, 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 listen to me for a second. Listen no, to me for a second. No, because he doesn't why, why, happen why, why, why to everyone. Magic? Because it doesn't happen with everybody. Everyone, you can't just come. You don't just come home and get the opportunities. But if I know my man's is Kobe, guess what? I might be in locked up thinking that's my opportunity. I got talking a bunch about. Of mother- I got a bunch of motherfucking brothers that have been locked up and family members that have been locked up. They came home and got jobs. Absolutely. And they came home and got fucking jobs. You're saying get up okay, money I, to fund oh, a bad. record company. Not a record My bad. Let me. I came home and I'm working. Fuck it. Throw the record company shit out the fucking way. I came home and I'm working. I came okay. home and I'm working. Hey, cool. Do you know somebody in LA because I came home and I'm working and I'm doing shit the legit way that can help me out there legitimately to make some more money? Cool. I'll fuck with you. I'm Kobe Bryant. I'm not aligning myself as Kobe Bryant with a nigga who came out of jail and automatically went back. All he's doing is street shit. He ain't say he had a job or whatever. You already came back home on the bullshit. Why the fuck I'm going to fire you out to fucking L.A. so you can come out there with the bullshit? And now you blaming me because you stuck in L.A.? That's valid. That's a valid point. I can't say that's not valid. That's a valid point. What if he didn't tell him he was on street shit? Would you then help him? He didn't tell me he was on the street shit. And he said, yo, I'm just out here working. My job ain't paying shit. Do you know anybody in the field that I'm working in right now that could give me a better opportunity? Yeah. So if he's I would help the nigga like that. If he's working at McDonald's, you want him to ask Kobe, like, yo, can you give me a job at Burger King? (laughs) I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Because I'm trying to take what you're saying, right? Yeah, I'm not saying, listen, listen, I'm not saying you're wrong. A nigga that ran a construction business, a wealthy construction business somewhere in fucking LA that he can make money and his homie is working. Yeah, bro, you I got a company, but dude, he pay X amount of dollars. It's like, yo, he making because construction can range anywhere from 17 to fucking 40 dollars an hour. I got a dude that got a successful construction business, and I see you working, you trying, you know what I mean. I have them overlook your record because I know you. You're working. I think. No, I, I'm not. I'm not conflating the two, dog. Because well, well, no. let's okay. Let's Dre. Let me hit you with a situation. Hit you me. got a job. Your job at right now. Okay. Your homie came home. That was already, you know, before he went in, mm-hmm. was just rapping. Came home. Now he's just doing street shit. And he wants a job at your place, and you know all he do is street shit. He didn't have a job. He going and he come home. He's not. You gonna go get him a job on your name where you work at? Most like if, if we're close, if we're close, there are certain conversations to be had. But yeah, I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave him out there. That's me. Now, oh, now here's the thing. Listen, listen. listen. I'm about to tell you. And I, and, now, if he's and a piece about... of shit, if he's a piece of shit, and I know it, then no. And now, if he's he just meant. doing street shit because that's what he had to do, then that's just what he had to do. But if if he can, if I'm like, listen, bro, I'm gonna sit you down before we, I can give you a job where I'm at, but I need you to do X, Y, and Z. The point. So this is what I was trying to say when you were talking. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I, that you're not wrong. That way of thinking isn't wrong. But at the same time, you are giving Kobe the credit of he actually thought about the shit and actually mm-hmm. said, damn, you know what? Damn, maybe I should, but no, I shouldn't. The point that the guy was trying to make is the nigga didn't think about it. He just was like, yeah, 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 okay, and and rolled the fuck out on him and didn't give him anything, which well, he doesn't you. have to, which he doesn't have to. But which that's the, that's what that's what makes a guy mad. He, he's mad because Kobe just didn't give him any thought at all. Well, look how look how he's shitting on his dead man. That's supposed to be his man. Yeah, yeah. It's plenty. It's plenty of people who told me no and couldn't fucking help me that I'm not gonna go fucking blast him on the fucking internet with. Yeah. 
yo, you said no to me for a fucking reason. It's plenty of times I ask, I may ask you for some money. And you say, Kev, I don't got it. I don't turn around and go blast you on it. Because I see people do that shit all the time. People do that shit to me. I say no to them. Now I'm on the internet. I'm a piece of shit and I'm all X, Y, and Z. Like, yo, how much do you really fuck with me? Like, and it's people yeah. I told no to and understood. I mean, man. You don't know my situation <laughs> for me to be telling you no or me to help you out. So you mad. really couldn't have been that fucking close with homie if you shitting on him. And that's your only claim to fucking nah, fame. He's hurt. Jumping on podcasts. Man, fuck all that shit. Hurt what? He's hurt. hurt you because you man it hurt what? Why he's hurt. Hurt why? He's hurt because he's he felt like his boy turned his back on him. Why? I don't understand why you don't get that. No, I, I, bro. I'm about to say, that, and that's what I've been trying to say this whole time. Like, if that was your man's for five years, my man's was down for 12 years doing in some street shit, got caught up with some street shit. And ended up having to do a big, came home, I got my man's a job at my job. Because he had to do what he had to do whenever he was doing whatever he had to do. That didn't change the characteristics of who he was. You know what I'm saying? That didn't change the fact that that was my man's. And he was down for 10 years, 11 or 12 years. No experience with nothing, my nigga. There is no type of experience. So when That's he had to come home and, and have to figure out what life is... I want to be able to do something to make sure I, I'm not no rich nigga. I can't. If I was rich when he came home, he'd be good because that's my motherfucking dog. You know what I'm saying? That's what you said. Guess what you said? Guess what you just said? And you just said, I'm listening to your story. You looked out and you waited and you tracked when your homie came home because that's your real homie. You made no, sure. Nigga, when asked came me. Home. I didn't have to track him. He, he, yo, can I get a job at your job? Your job hiring? Can you get me in? Yeah. You put an application in. I'm a motherfucking tell my supervisor to have them pull your name. Once you get was the you, interview, after that, it's up to you. Was you, you know in contact saying? with your homie while he was locked up? Of course. Of course. So, but that's what nigga, I'm saying, though. If that's my dog, if that's my dog, I'm not going to let the. I'm, if I, first so of all, if I had the capability, yeah, I'm about to say, because you wouldn't, you, you. Let's just say that. He. M- if I had the capability of making sure that he didn't have to do that time just by me being who I am, nigga, I'm going to put that on the line for the nigga that I've, I consider to be somebody extremely close to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to take this chance for you. You only get one good chance like this. You know what I'm saying? They're about to fuck your life up. After you get out of jail, this will follow you forever, regardless of, of what they say you can do to get it expunged. No, nah, that shit will always follow you. It's the internet. They look your name up. That's what they'll see. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if I had the opportunity to, to erase this mistake and help redirect your life, who knows what he could have been within them five years? Who knows if he wouldn't have stopped doing the street shits, would have thanked Kobe for everything that he did and dedicated his life to doing what he needed to do, continue to be Kobe's man, follow, you know, follow a different path in life and, and become a millionaire at this point. Yo, what this, be- shit sound, what this shit sounds like is just, I knew Kobe. What this story really sounds like is I knew Kobe and I was banking on me and Kobe having some type of relationship. I'm getting on. This ain't. This was my man's. This was my I nigga. Agree. This I don't was like my home. Yeah, after Kobe's gone, I, I never I hear say, nothing about this before yeah. or while I, Kobe's alive. I don't like that part. I was gonna say this, but just as a story in itself about what a person would do for a person they consider yeah. to be close to them. I, I was gonna say this right. Now, what should happen, and a person should understand this, when something like that does happen, no matter how you feel about it, you should take it as a learning experience and say, thanks to Kobe for not giving me the opportunity because I went out and made it myself. That should be what the guy is saying. That should be. Yeah, he told me no, and at first I was mad. I was mad at him for years, but now I got a successful this or I'm you know, a successful father or whatever yeah, it is. He's a train and job now, trucks or something now. He's supposed and, to be some type of trick. So he he's holding on to that. So I'm not, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that this guy's right at all. I'm not saying that at all. The the thought process should be, you know what? Cause me, I'm gonna tell you what kind of person I am. If that shit happened to me 
and I got fucked like that. Number one, they ain't the person that fucked me, right? Unless there's something I don't know. They ain't the person that fucked me. And if I came and I thought something was the case and it wasn't, I'm more or less like, oh, okay, you wasn't my homie anyway. That's all good. I'm going to yeah. go ahead and make it for myself because that's what I got to do. So I might not, if, if niggas mention your name, I'll probably be like, yo, I wish him the best, but I don't fuck with him because he don't fuck with me and that's all good. But I'm over here doing this. I would never get on podcasts and say, yo, man, fuck that nigga or this and that. But I will tell that story. Mm-hmm. If I'm on if I'm on a podcast, I'm going to tell the story. Why the fuck not? Go but I'll turn it into a positive. But I'll turn it into a positive. Keep telling the story. Y'all really, I sound like y'all really wasn't that really that fucking close as you make it out to be. It wasn't like y'all was fucking knew each other from the sandbox and came up. Y'all look like y'all was just two niggas that met in high school, probably. That's how it's coming off to me. Well, sure. what, if the nigga, what if the nigga comes around with somebody who was around both of them at the same time period and and coincides with his story saying that, yo, they were really close. Them, you, when you seen Bean, you seen him. When you seen him, you seen Bean. Uh, but he's the reason why Bean actually really wanted to start rapping. Da, da, da. And they and they actually confirming that this nigga's stories is true. Does that change your opinion? Because they were actually close. It, it changed my opinion. And it's like, yo, it's fucked up. You ain't help your mans. But it don't change my opinion. Like, you ain't obligated to help no fucking man. Ain't That's nobody, on this, fucking, ain't nobody yeah, on this fucking planet obligated to fucking help me. And I'm not going to jeopardize what I consider a real friendship because a motherfucker don't help me. He's baby something he don't see in me that I got to do for myself to make him believe in me. I don't listen. If was, if I could if if I got arrested and I'm on trial to lose five years of my life, and they're saying that I did something that I know that I didn't do, and you, my best friend, a millionaire, a person who has some sort of power knows this to be true as well and you can prevent this from happening and you don't nigga i'm going to feel some type of way in jail for five years so when i come home and i see you yo bro what happened what's up okay you didn't help me then can you help me now because you could have saved me from losing five years knowing the truth and you let me rot so you can't save me that that's crazy. That makes me think that there is some other shit going on in the story. Take Kobe away. Take Kobe away and put and put it as just people. Take Kobe away. Yeah. Okay, hurt. if I sat in jail for five years and you're a millionaire and you didn't come to my trial and you could have saved me from doing five years in prison, you really don't fuck with me like that. That's so what I'm saying. after my five years is up, I'm not coming looking for you to say, Oh nigga, you still I, owe me. Like, I think fuck? that's you where didn't do not, you didn't do nothing for me when I was about to go away. The I think that's I where we all to stand. do something for me now. I think that's where we all stand because no, none of us would if somebody if they at that point I don't fuck with you because you don't fuck with me. So we wouldn't even go up. So Nobody. let's let's say let's say let's call it let's say this group this group right here. Somebody go. We all somewhere, and something happened, and somebody got to go away. Right now, somebody in this group is a millionaire and they doing a whole bunch of shit. They're getting shit popping, whatever it is. And they got a chance to bring the right people in and influence the jury or whatever is going on to do that. And they don't show up. And then you see me or you or you five years later. Emotionally, you have an attachment there. That's that's 20 years of friendship. Emotionally. I'm going to come see you and be like, damn, dog, like I ain't hear from you. I ain't whatever. Now, if you tell me, if you brush me off after that point, then we're just not friends anymore at that point. Right. But I'll probably come up to you and be like, damn, can you help me out, bro? I really need it. I'm not doing street shit, but I really need it. I'm fucked up. That shit fucked my life up. I can't go get a regular job no more. I'm fucked. Can you help me? Then what do you do? I'm talking about me, nigga. I'm just saying, don't fuck with me because. I wouldn't fuck with you. I don't give if you got all this money. I just I just put out a specific topic. If you could if you could have saved me from doing this shit, and I got twenty years of friendship with you, and you still say like, "Yo, you didn't come through for me when I really, really needed you." It's like, all right, yo, I don't expect you to do shit for me. I do it for myself, and I get on myself. What if I came to you? 
came home and you seen me, you bumped into me. I'm like, yo, man, it's good seeing you. I keep that shit fucking pushing. Like, we ain't about to hear. We ain't because we ain't about to. You about you not about to sit in my face and have a motherfucking conversation with me. Y'all should already know who I am. No, you no. What if I came to you after me being locked up and you didn't come? Just imagine you being the person who didn't come. And I'm a piece. I'm a piece of shit, bro. It's like, yo, I gotta help you out. I didn't come to you. I didn't help you in your time of need. Now you home. I gotta make this shit right, though. Like that's I what I was to, asking. Oh, I'm going to make this shit right. Yeah. But initially, I don't even think it would have got that far from with us. But if it did, I gotta make this shit right. Cause you're legit my homie. You're my man's in 20 years. I legit gotta make this shit right. That's what but I'm vice saying. Vice versa, I don't think you know, it was. Man, I'm I don't just think saying. It was vice no versa, I ain't fucking with y'all niggas. Y'all did that shit to me. I ain't fucking with y'all. And if y'all see me, keep that shit moving, or get or get prepared to get punched in the fucking face. I'm, and that's just how I'm coming. I'm only gonna tell you one time, yo. That's what's up. But I don't fuck with you. And y'all seen me do this shit before. Y'all seen me do it flat out. Say, yo, I don't fuck with you. I wish you the best of luck, but I don't fuck with you. Get away from me. I've never seen you do that. You ain't never seen me do that in my backyard. <laughs> y'all <laughs> seen me. Yo, that's like, in my backyard. Y'all, y'all was there at, at 4 p.m. Y'all was there when the person tried to say something to me. Was y'all not there? I know, nigga. Exactly. I tell you straight up off the rip. <laughs> I don't fuck with you, but I wish you the best of luck. Get the fuck away from me. Kevin is so easily triggered, yo. <laughs> that's why it's funny. Saying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all see, I, that's just the type of person. Yo, they wasn't homies, bro. That's what it was. They wasn't actual they homies. Wasn't. They wasn't. And he snitched on himself by now. If we if we take him at face value, I still think that's fucked up. But it's still his. It's still Kobe's choice at the end of the day to say, yeah, all right. But that's like if if I let's 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 put it back on Kobe. But let's let's put real standards on this. If that nigga didn't go to your job, like he ain't contact you while you was in jail. He ain't go to your trial. He might have sent some niggas. He ain't go to your trial. He ain't contact you. And you had to get the drop on him, basically, to get his, to, to get back. You couldn't go to his mom. You couldn't do nothing. Hey, my nigga, y'all wasn't best friends, bro. Exactly. No. Y'all wasn't. And then there was, there's definitely a lot of resentment because yeah. the nigga just started kicking his back in. Like, nobody in the hood Correct. even liked him. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. He, he was never himself. He always studied off of other people. He studied off of Michael Jordan, talk like Michael Jordan, <laughs> wanted to walk like Michael Jordan. I'm like, nigga, that sound like a nigga who played basketball who had aspirations of being like Michael Jordan in the NBA. Nigga, you're going to mimic what you want to be. Let me ask y'all. Does Kobe sound like he ever had a best friend? Real shit. No. Nobody look, look, in the uh, look, Let's look at Kobe's story. Kobe lived on how many, how many continents? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. His dad was travel. Yeah. Spoke how many languages? I think nine. Some ridiculous amount that a human being shouldn't be able to do, but he did it. He lives the life of a hermit. He's not the person that's like, yo, y'all going out Saturday? Yo, come on. Yeah, he yeah. might have been in a rap group with y'all out of necessity. Kobe going to use you for what he going to use you for because mm-hmm. he wants to get to that next level. Yeah. What this whole story sounds like because of the type of person Kobe is, and they talk about how much he practiced and what he did. Nigga, you not you was never his friend or his best friend. You no. was somebody he used to do something else, and he kept you around at that time. Probably didn't even want to keep you all around. So when you got locked up, he was like, all right, let me get back to this ball and shit. Fuck it. Well, apparently, he ain't even really Kobe was on his team. some niggas to come help. Sa- sa- exactly. Hey, I'm going to give you that, and that's what I'm going to give you. After this, bro, I'm I don't even got time for you, nigga. I'm preparing for Doug. I'm preparing for shit. Have anybody ever like, come into town? Yeah. You ever hear how people speak about Kobe? That call Kobe his brother. He, he tell you straight up, like when he was in the league, he ain't fuck with a lot of people. We go out. Kobe stayed to himself. Kobe. Everybody says it. Kobe stayed to himself. Mm-hmm. He talked to you, but he his life was consumed by being the greatest basketball player ever. His life was consumed about that. It was a free. He said all he did with all he dealt with was his wife and his kids. He, that's it. That was all that was in his circle. He said it wasn't until he fucking retired that he started. People started seeing another side of Kobe. A lot of people said thought Kobe was an asshole because he didn't fuck with nobody. It's like yo, take my shoes off, bitch. Yeah, oh, exactly. Was that, that was Jordan. Yeah, that was Jordan. Oh, that was him too. That Jordan. was him too. Yeah. yeah, them niggas played like she said. Take my, my shit off. off. I ain't good enough to play my Kobe's. That's crazy. You can't expect a nigga that lived his life as a hermit 
and only kept to himself, his wife and his kids, to be like, yo, I see a, a friend that went to jail for five years. And an acquaintance, even, an old acquaintance. Acquaintance. And God knows, he could have did them five years, and came home, and he didn't see Kobe for another 10 years. And you think Kobe's going to, once you bump into Kobe, you think y'all supposed to get, like, pick up where y'all left off? Get the fuck out of here. Like, yo, you really wasn't nah, as tight with Kobe as you think you was, though. You can't even call this. Like you said, y'all can, y'all two can see my mother and talk to my mother to get in contact with me, and my mother will invite y'all in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And get mad at you if you left me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Your mom will yep. be mad at you. Like, why you do that? Make a meal the That's whole the thing. Line. Yeah. Y'all can yeah. sit down at my mother's house without me being there. And chill, and my mom was sitting have co- that's homies. What they what he was explaining was two niggas that knew each other that fucking rap. That's it, and that was close in a rap group. I'm sorry. And the other thing about the story we were talking about on the other end is was Kobe now helping he like he Kobe don't do nothing for his mom and his dad and his sister. Like I said, that was all your dad, you. yeah, your dad is his, Kobe dad is worth five million dollars. I don't think they're doing that bad. And if Kobe dad ain't tell his sister his own daughter, she can stop working because I got the money. The fuck, Kobe? What is Kobe entitled to do? You, you, I, I, all right. I love that. Let's let's talk real quick about money. Yeah. Let's talk about money. Because yeah. uh, I think what people think, I, I just put uh, I just put 500 million in both of y'all accounts, right? I just mm-hmm. did, right? Look, Kev checking his phone. <laughs> no, I don't check so much. The fuck, because my, my wait, phone what? went off. My phone <laughs> went off since you said that. I was like, nigga, excuse me. So I put five hundred million in y'all account, right? There to the analogy that Kev said earlier. There are people in your family. Money makes shit ugly. I just want to let y'all know that. You know, there's going to be people in your family that thinks you're going to give them. Oh, he gonna give me a hundred million. You know, there's people in your family that think when you got five. Then you're gonna give them a hundred million. I don't know. I don't know what know what does. I want to. I don't want to know what that meant. Like people people that was just, it's, it's, that's my oh. right there. Oh, I wanted to know what they were responding to. They think they're going to. You're going to give them a hundred million or fifty million. There's other people, and so add those amount of people up that think you're just going to give out millions of dollars until you're broke. Mm. And then they're that's gone. people. Yeah, that's just like us. I was thinking about this shit earlier. Say we signed a deal with this podcast for say 30 million. They give, us 10, they give us 10 million a piece. Boom. We all gotta put money back into this podcast, whatever. Operating costs. Absolutely. We say we all we say we all put two and we left with eight. If you blew your fucking eight million dollars in a fucking in a year, now you come to look at my eight million dollars like yo, I'm fucked up. It's like yo. This is a one-time loan, but yo, you got to pay this shit back. I mean, I'm, I'm fucked up, Kev. I got a hundred thousand, but I need it. Cool. Here go a hundred thousand. You are doing numbers on the podcast. You'll give me my money back. Mm-hmm. The second, you don't give me my hundred thousand dollars back. I'm not breaking up the friendship. I'm not ending it. I'm not saying nothing. You didn't give me my hundred thousand back. No sweat, motherfucker. Don't come asking for another hundred. Yeah, you can't get that. That's how I, you. You still owe me a hundred thousand. That's just like my family. If I hit for ten million, I'm rich. I'm Call rich. You're not Call rich. Call it five hundred. Yeah, five hundred. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. You're not rich. Just like if you hit the fucking lottery. If my cousin hit the lottery, he's fucking rich. He's fucking rich. I'm not gonna go quit my job and be like, oh shit. Hey, cuz, I'm yo. I'm behind mm-hmm. on my bills. Five thousand dollars. I need five grand. People, do what this. was you doing? To let that shit get to five grand, you just automatically assume you're gonna give me. I'm gonna give you hell. Nah. Fuck out my face, bro. I'm telling you, yeah, it is ugly, and people really feel like if you hit, you ain't never. You and them have never even had that conversation. Of you know how we have the conversation, and nigga, yeah. and guess what? I ain't gonna say what we say, but like niggas, niggas had a conversation. Yo, if I hit, bro, I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna give you this. Kevin say, always oh, say he's gonna give you this and disappear. Like, that's what niggas have a conversation. The people in your family, 
don't even have that conversation with you and yeah. think that when you get the money, you just going to give them, oh, cool. If he got the money, that means I'm going to spend $10 million on a house because he got 500 So I know he's going to give me 10 Nigga, what? Look My mom? The, uh, look at the story of most basketball players <laughs> and football players. They tell they went, all of all of them tell them they went broke because they family. Family was stealing from them. They was giving money. To yeah. MC Hammer is the MC Hammer's a best example. MC Hammer was giving money out to everybody. Everybody in the hood, everybody's cool with. I don't know what he's worth now, but he fucking, he wasn't, he broke. Can't, can't, none of them people that you gave that money back give you that money back to make you rich again. Don't kill the golden even goose. Even if they could, would they? No, because they're going, you know what I mean? money, listen, there's an old saying that everybody gets wrong. The love of money is the root of all evil. Some people say money is the root of all evil. That's not true. It's the quote is the love of money is the root of all evil. Greed so it's is the root of all it's, evil. it's the greed. So when that money comes, everybody's so poor and fucked up or so like because that's all we work for, right? We work, we put our time on the line, we do all this shit, and we always just kind of making it that when money, when money actually in abundance is around, you you like you you trying to figure out any way you can inch your way in. Any way you can inch your way in. So that's why people just assume when you got it, oh shit, he gonna give it to me. Because that's what you should do. In a fairy tale. Yeah. In a fairy tale, yes. But yeah. in all actuality, I have to keep this. I have to keep this and live on it for X amount of time. So let's talk about $10 million, right? And we'll, and we'll get off of this. I just think it's an interesting thought experiment. $10 million. Some people think $10 million is a whole lot of money. Like money you can live on for a long time. It is not, sir. Now you can you can uh, put it in a fund and and get you know x amount of percent off of it or something like that and live modest for a long for a nice long amount of time. But if you take it and just start spending and start giving, that shit is gone in a couple years. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when you get your ten million, people think that you're gonna give them a million and them a million and them a million, and it's like, why would I do that? And I won't have shit to live off. We all in the same boat now. We all broke. Like, I don't Again, even like you like that. Why would I do that just off of that purpose? People think so. it's crazy. Y'all got just, any experiences like that? Yeah, you got experiences with it like right now. Like people see a car and see you working all the fucking time and expect you them just to call you up out of the blue. I'm like, yo, I, I need some bread. I need I'm fucked up. I need some you got some money. No, I don't got money I give myself. The money I got in my account is for me to live comfortably. Not to be excessive, but comfortably. Yeah, you see a car. Yeah, you see me maybe doing a trip here and there. But yo, the car I'm got, I'm making payments on. Hell, the trip I'm going on, I'm making payments on. It's not breaking my pockets either way. But this is just shit I want. I want to do for myself, so I'm going to do it for myself. I don't got no money to give nobody else. My mom said the best things. My mom was like, "Yo, people." Call me, ask. I said this probably on the podcast before. People go have their money, spend their money, do what they want with their money, and expect you. They went, they did all the shit they want to do with their money, been happy with their money, and expect you to take on their bills, pay their bills. She's like, What sense does that make? You did what did you do with your money? You did what you wanted to do. Now I'm supposed to take the money I got and give it to you because your situation is fucked up. Live within your means. I mean, with all that, with all that being said, can I borrow some money? I ain't got no money. <laughs> I ain't got no money. I, listen, I listen again. I don't. I don't call nobody. It's been times I've been fucked up. I don't call nobody. I figured the fuck out. It's been times I ain't have shit. Two nickels. My account in the red. This shit negative. I'm figuring it the fuck out. Don't yeah. nobody know but me and the people in this household. And Jesus. That I'm fuck and Jesus. I'm fucked up. And I've came and I come out of my situation. I ain't call nobody, I ain't bug nobody. I ain't listen. And if and if I did, it's probably my mom and that's it. Sorry. I feel bad for, I feel bad for all of our moms. Well, uh, yeah. not all of not all of our moms, moms and dads. And I don't know if Kevin do the same shit, but if I'm fucked up, me, me, and, me and my wife's mom. That's usually that's where we I'm go. That's what my mom, my mom be like, my mom be like, oh, I need this or that done or, or 
KK, I want this, and I go buy. She's like, how much I owe you? You owe me shit. You owe me a fucking thing, ma. Mm -hmm. Don't ever think you owe me something. If I got the money to do for you, it's just come. I don't expect it back. I ain't looking forward to get it back. Nothing. Just you said you needed it. You told me you needed it, so I'm gonna get it done. That's why she get the ten million out of the five hundred. Here you go, mom. Have a ball. Yeah. I do my best not to ask anybody. At all. I know. That's why I said maybe not you, because I, I know you don't. Yeah. Yo, but I that's. I think that's how. Oh, I, that's how most reasonable human beings think. It's the motherfuckers who just can't get right thinking, oh. He just hit the lottery for 100 mil. He got it. If I hit the lottery, I already got my head who I'm giving money to. Nigga. And y'all not I, finding me. Y'all not finding me no more. Yeah, if I, if I ran into <laughs> a large sum of money, I'd have a nice meeting at my parents' house. And the ones that were invited would be broken off right then and there. And then everything Oof. from that point changes. There's a I have niggas sign contracts. This is the last yes. bit of money that yes. you get from me, period. Yes. What you decide to do with this money is on you. If you better your life from this point, they won't listen. Perfect. If not, and you spend it all, you won't be you'll have to you have to go through my parents to get in contact with me after that, unless you're not one of the close people who I work with on a daily and do shit on a daily. No, nah, I'm out and about. I'm I'm living life and trying to figure out how to make this money prosper for my kids now. So they'll have money to give to their kids and so on and so on. But other than that, if you if you weren't at that house, don't expect to get anything from me. You know what I mean? It's, that's a wrap. I send it's, my money to who I need to send my money to. And I'm out, yo. There's a lot of this world I need to know. There's a nigga that's going to burn his shit. They're going to call you. They're going to make sure they meet up with you. I'll be like, yo, man, they stole it. Yo, can I have another? <laughs> they, they don't mean you're going to give it to them. I'm just saying, like, money, that's, bro. That's crazy. Money is crazy. Like, yo, you already signed that contract after you got your funds, remember? Yeah, nah. But the that's, Bitcoin. Uh, that's, yeah. that's, enti but that's Bitcoin. entitlement to people. That's yeah, entitlement. Bro. That's just straight entitlement. You, Man, listen. Uh, I gave you, you what it. you needed. And more than enough. That shit crazy. Money, nah, it's, it's funny, and you just think about it. Like, I think about that shit all the time. Like, yo, I say in my head what I would do if I hit the lottery, kill people. But I wonder how many people gonna say, Kev ain't shit. I don't really fuck with this nigga XYZ because I ain't come through for him at oh, that well, point. Yo, the same people would probably fuck. say it now. Yeah, I, I y'all know I'm, I'm still gonna do big ass cookouts and, and probably have a nice ass crib with a big ass pool and, and shit for your family to do. <laughs> Don't expect room. that invite. Don't accept, yeah. oh. expect that invite. And if you come to my house and I invite you over, don't come to me with no business proposal. This ain't what we doing. I'll, I'll they will, though. Uh, Y'all talking to the most... I'm the most blunt, upfront fucking person. You don't you don't want to get your feelings hurt talking to me. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you straight the fuck. I'm not giving you I shit. Got, I got the best idea, though. You already got your money, dog. Rent them spoons. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Go enjoy, go enjoy that swimming pool. Go enjoy them go-karts over there. Enjoy that the liquor and the food. I, I ain't I'm not here to talk imagine, no fucking business. Imagine if you had this barbecue and you rented spoons and gave them dog. It's amazing business. Your cuz cousins will cousins, friends of cousins, people who know you all your life gonna hit you with the wildest shit. Our niggas hit Rent them spoons. The Niggas hit me with the wildest shit because they see me doing a pot. And I'm like, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very I, wild. I can point you in the right direction. And I got some equipment I could probably lend you. But are you willing to fucking do this shit every day? Now, I need you to record me. And I need you to write my material. And I need you to do everything, yo. You can make millions off of me. <laughs> Why would I want to make millions off of you? What? Like, that's the case. That's the shit I they say. I I sign you to a fucking contract, a Diddy contract. You gonna diddle uh, them? No, a Diddy contract. I ain't diddling nobody. Diddy. You know okay. What, you, know what comes, you know what the clause is in the Diddy contract. Oh, I ain't no. Right? I ain't got that clause in my contract. <laughs> I ain't got that clause. You keep that, son. I don't listen. I don't listen. I don't fuck with the brown hole. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm good. Like One I was saying, have a conversation about money. Yeah, but I'm just saying, if yo man, just 
Like if Nikki say that shit about the podcast, I could just sign you to a fucked up ass contract, give you the fucking tools, and when you make money, you make nothing. Like, how about I show you how to do this shit, tell you where to get the shit from, keep you from the pitfalls, and you go about it that way. But that, like I said, that's another conversation for another day. We've been on, I, and on I love too long ago. And I love that conversation. So we'll we'll actually have it because that's a thing that people need to know about podcasting and and the fact that if you want to do it, niggas ain't gonna do it for you. Mm. No, I don't even do it for myself. <laughs> so, all, all right, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it's all, it. folks. We out of here. Man, peace. Enjoy hey, our weekend, man. Hey. Cinco, happy Cinco de Mayo. Get drunk. <laughs> <laughs>